school, as you know, is a game of precision. So having solid fundamentals is crucial to being able to execute shots successfully. How to make a proper bridge hand. It's a stable place for your cue to rest while you're stroking the ball. And there are two basic ways of making a bridge. The first way is called the open bridge. You kind of make a V like this and your cue rests right between your thumb and your index finger. The second way to make a bridge is called the closed bridge. You're closing a circle between your thumb and your forefinger, which connects to your middle finger, and this creates a hole for the cue to slide through, where you position your grip hand. You have to grip the cue in a place that will keep it well balanced, sort of in the center of the wrap, like this. If you grip it too loose, it leaves too much room for motion and the cue can sort of shift from side to side when you're shooting. If you grip it too tightly, you're going to create a lot of tension. You want to keep your wrist as straight as possible. You don't want to turn your wrist out and you don't want to turn your wrist in. The goal is to create as much of a smooth, controlled motion as possible. Your stance it determines how you're going to be balanced when you're shooting. You want to have your feet about shoulder length apart. You don't want to have them too wide and you don't want to have them too close together because that's going to naturally make you want to shift a little bit more and you're going to bend at the hips. You want to be at a comfortable distance from the table, not too close and not too far away. Aiming. You want to create an imaginary line between the ball and the pocket. This line is also going to create what is called the contact point between the cue ball and the object ball. As you're down to the shot, you want to stay focused on that point of contact. You want to envision the cue ball hitting that contact point. You don't want to grind the chalk onto the tip, you just kind of want to brush it on.